welcome back to my channel thank you so much it has been a while um, since I last posted anything like really big the past few months have been really really crazy really really busy um, some things don't change <laughs> now we've been working on our family restaurant um, Guava Multi Cafe here in the Gambia so it's been a lot of really hard work and building up to that I didn't have as much time for the project that I wanted to have so hopefully now that things have kind of been going for a while and it's kind of calmed down a bit um, I'm looking to get back into doing my projects, so you'll be seeing a lot more posts from me, hopefully. So you might notice that um, Fundora is back, and also Shadow is gone. Um, we'll explain why Fundora is here maybe in a later on video. Another big thing that's happened is I want to start working on my workspace. Being, I'm building it up to being a place where I can work in comfortably. Obviously, it's pretty ghetto looking because I'm actually in the shed, um, or well, what we call the garage. So um, I kind of came to Gambia and I met the shed in this kind of state that it's in. It's been this way for the past, like, at least... When was the house built? And um, for the first few years, it was kind of my dad's... He was going to turn it into his garage, and then um, it kind of got put on the back burner, and we've just kind of been using it for storage and stuff. In here, it's just a complete mess and storage over the past few years of our existence here in Gambia. It's all kind of in here. Um, so there are tools, there are big tools, small tools, professional equipment, there's um, also I think my dad said his first bike is a vintage bike, it's in here somewhere, we have bike engines, we have car parts, there's just so much, so much stuff to go through. Something that I want to bring to the channel as well, so please look forward to seeing a bit more about me building up the space and turning it into, uh, I'd like to say my dream, gar dream garage, but <laughs> as close to that as we can get. Moving on to what we're doing today, where we last, le oh, why can't I say that, where we last left off. Um, with regards to Shadow was we'd done some work on getting the engine unseized, we'd done some clutch work, we'd done some cleaning of the bike as well, um, just some general kind of things so that we could get it to turn over and start. We got up to the wiring which was completely a mess and we then realised that after a while the CDI was actually broken so we had to kind of just stop. So originally I'm from the UK, I'm Mancunian if you haven't already asked yet, um, so we had to buy parts the Shadow doesn't seem to be a really popular bike in the UK, so a lot of the time I was buying parts from the US and bringing them into the UK, and then obviously from the UK shipping them here, which is just loads and loads of shipping and loads and loads of hassle and faff. And the worst part is if it doesn't end up coming, like it, in this case it didn't actually, I'm not sure if the seller actually sent it, um, so it never really showed up. And then obviously if it gets here and it's not the right one, then we have added problems and issues. So I thought, right, well I'll try and have a look here and see if I can find anything. It was even worse. I couldn't find another person here in the whole of the Gambia who had a shadow, so obviously I couldn't get any parts for it. Um, we did find an old wiring harness off of an older Honda bike. My dad couldn't remember which bike specifically it was, but he did know that it was off of the engine just like the shadow. Okay, so the plan is to use the shadow wiring diagram and isolate the parts that don't work, so namely the ignition system. Then we'll move on to the new wiring loop. We're going to isolate the working ignition system. Next we'll transplant the working ignition system into our shadow harness and then just pray that it all works. If we get sparked, it totally worked. Then all that's next to do is to start the bike and finally hear it after 7 plus years of it being sat in the shed. However, it is too hot to work in the garage right now, um, so we're going to we're gonna take it inside. We're going to start cutting into the wiring loom and get the parts that we actually need off of it. Oh, when we do this garage up, I really want AC. <laughs> so let's get to work. So it turns out that our donor wiring came off of a Honda Sparta VT250. I found the part number in the back of the clock and I googled it and found an eBay account selling the same clock. Obviously it then told me which bike it belonged to and then I searched for a PDF service manual. So now that we're done wiring and we're ready to head out, but it currently looks like this outside. Mm -hmm. 
Since we're moving the bike, I think first things first, we might as well just wash it. So I had it all planned. I was going to do a massive montage. I had the foam coming out and everything. It was going to be great. Um, and I filmed it on the GoPro. And then the GoPro, for some reasons unbeknownst to me, decided to delete all my footage, but leave the footage that I'd filmed earlier that day of me doing recipe development on some fried chicken wings. So um, really devastating, really upsetting. We'll just put some rain noise in the background. At least it's water. Yeah. Okay, so here we are at the bike. It's all washed and clean and it looks slightly dirtier than it did before. It's got the frame's got quite a few scratches on it, so they're kind of were covered a lot by the dirt, so you can kind of see a lot of where things have gone wrong. Although the chrome is not in too bad condition, everything's alright. Yeah, we'll get to that when we do fabrication. But anyway, this is the old wiring room. I've just released it from the bag that was encasing it, stopping it from getting wet. So we have the old wiring room here. Um, the repairs I made to it as well are further down there. There's my fuse box that I wired in as well, all of that good stuff. On the floor we have the donor wiring loom from the other Honda. It has two CDIs instead of one. The Shadow originally has one CDI but this one has two. So what we're going to do is wire it so that each CDI controls each side of the engine, the two coil packs, which are the front and the rear. So that's the main kind of change that we're going to make to the wiring. Other than that, we're going to have some small minor things. So for example, got really old glass fuses in here. All of them are not fused, which is great. And I do have replacements for them, but I kind of just like the new fuses. Also, the shadow wiring loom has this diode, I think, um, which controls the neutral and also the side stand switch. This one doesn't have one in. So I'm going to have to wire one in there as well. I'm going to use this part of the wiring for that. Um, I'm not going to join them, like permanently join them yet, because obviously we're going to have to take the whole wiring loom off. Obviously we've got all the old wiring and also the new wiring that we've put in. God, then at least I haven't done something terribly wrong. But if we get spark, even better. So that's gonna turn it over, and I am going to test for. Huh? You. Yeah, I really thought it would work. Hang on. Look, 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 look. <laughs> I put this on here to remind me to connect it, but I haven't actually connected. Right, let me actually connect the neutral line and then we'll go from there. <laughs> hey, maybe it'll work. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, test number two, we're gonna try again. Um, I didn't connect the neutral. So yeah, um, yeah, but just, just, yeah, okay. We're gonna test it again. <laughs> okay. It sparked. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. <gasps> yeah, don't touch that. No, don't touch it. Ah, we have sparked, we have sparked, finally, we have sparked. <laughs> we did it. Yes. Okay. not being crossed by me today oh I crossed it hi it's too hot it's way too hot so it is about 30 odd degrees we're looking at high 30s and we're looking at 
Highs of 85% humidity right now. The heat sink in the garage is absolutely insane. It is so hot right now. I'm physically melting. Dad has just driven off. He's gone. He abandoned me. <laughs> it's too hot to work right now. We're going to wait until it cools down a bit later on in the afternoon and come back out. It's too hot to film. My camera has already switched itself off twice. It's that hot. Uh. Don't mind me. It's just going to... Yep. Let's get my leg. <sighs> Ooh, that's nice. <gasps> Is that? Ooh, ice cream. <laughs> We are kind of sadly at the end of this video, but we did put fuel in it. We started off with a little baby bottle with a little squeezy and not enough fuel was going through. So we did end up putting fuel in it and turning it over. Yeah, it would have been nice if it started up first time, but spoiler alert, it did not. <laughs> seriously, seriously, I'm not giving up. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. I can't believe we actually did it like I did. I did a thing. I did a thing.